Mikey and I are awake and spending time in our house so far, and we realize that this house is just awful. We realize that a long time ago, just now we're convinced. We just don't have the money to buy a better house. And you think I don't know that? Well, what do you suggest we do then? Let's just go for a walk so we don't have to see this house. The house isn't actually the worst. It's just wooden and ugly. What's good about it? We have some small amenities too, but I myself realize that this house is awful. Then why do you keep trying to prove otherwise? I'm not trying to. I'm just glad I at least live in a house like this and not on the street. Well, if you look at it that way, then I'm overjoyed. Anyway, let's go out. There's not much to do at home anyway. And what are we supposed to do with you outside? We can just go out or something else. The important thing is to take a break from our house. Then let's run to the village and take a walk in our favorite playground. How about we diversify our day? Then make it up yourself. I don't understand it. Mikey, look at that mountain. I think something's going on up there. And it seems like something bad. Oh my God, he pushed the girl. Why did he do it? Apparently, it's some horrible person, but we have to help the girl. My heart nearly dropped when I saw a fall from that height. JJ, I think she's in the water somewhere. I can't see her. She's unconscious at the bottom. Oh my God, that's terrible. Mikey did a good job of swimming to her rescue. I managed to get her, but what do we do now to save her? I certainly can't administer first aid, and she won't regain consciousness. Then hurry up and get on the phone and call an ambulance so they can save her. Okay, Mikey, thank God. God, I brought my cell phone. Hurry up and call. I'm listening. Please come quickly. There's a girl unconscious. Okay. The ambulance is on its way to you. Hurry up and do it. Well done, JJ. Now we just have to wait and trust that she won't die. I really hope she does well. It's very hard to survive a fall like that, but I'm sure she can. The important thing is that we got her out in time to call an ambulance. It's true. I hope this helps. Mikey and I went to the hospital to find out for sure if TV Woman was okay. The doctor should be able to tell us everything soon, by the way. Here he is. Guys, come on, I'll show you around. Great, let's go, Mikey. You tell me, will the girl live? She's in serious condition right now, but because you did everything quickly, she should be back to normal soon. Great, so we saved the life of a girl who was going to be killed on purpose. We finally did something useful in our lives. And when will she be able to walk? Pretty soon, guys, you don't have to worry. Then Mikey and I will go home. You don't need our help anyway. Just take the candy. You deserve it. Awesome. Thanks so much for this. I'll be sure to tell her about you saviors. Cool, Mikey. I'm so glad we were able to save her. Now she will live and even find out about the one who saved her. Now let's go home, eat some candy, and celebrate the day we saved a beautiful girl. I'm really glad we're so brave. That's true, Mikey. Although I was panicking a lot and didn't know exactly what today in that situation. But the important thing is that we did it and I hope that horrible man goes to jail. I never in my life Life thought I could save someone's life. I'll remember this forever. Now we have something to be proud of, and we even deserve some candy. Exactly. I'm really glad they gave us candy. They thanked us for doing this. Yeah, Mikey. A few moments later. Okay, patient, I can see you're feeling much better already. Can you walk comfortably now? Yes, thank you so much for saving me. I'm so glad I'm alive. Take all this money I don't spare for you. Thank you so much, but who you should thank is Mikey and JJ. If it weren't for them, you'd still be at the bottom of the river you fell in. Then I owe it to them to find Find them and thank them. I'm ready to give all my wealth as long as I'm alive and well. I hope I can find them. The next morning. We don't even have any food left now. We have to find some money somewhere. Mikey, we won't have anything to eat tomorrow. Let's watch a cartoon and then we'll decide. As long as we're fed now. Okay, I agree. Problems need to be solved as they come. I'm thinking the same thing. So just relax and let's look at our old TV. Oh, who's coming to visit? I don't know, JJ. We haven't had anyone come to visit us in a long time. Maybe someone wanted to go out with us? That'd be great. Let's go see who's there. Come on, Mikey, let's go. Wow, look who it is. Hi, my saviors. It's good to see you. Look, Mikey, TV Woman is alive and well. And it's all thanks to you guys, and I'm very grateful. And we're so glad we were able to save you. And now I want to thank you. Oh, wow, how? We're very interested in what you want to do. Then follow me, boys. I don't even know what she came up with or what she wants to do. First, I'd like to take you to an interesting place. You have a Lamborghini? Oh my god, JJ. I've never ridden in such a cool car in my life. I can't even imagine how much a car like that could cost, Mikey. I'm guessing millions. Now I can't imagine exactly how TV Woman wants to thank us. I'll sit here. There's no more seats. Just drive carefully. Then I'll be right next to TV Woman. Wow, what a great ride we're on. Mikey, you okay in there? Can I go a little faster? I'm having a lot of fun, but just be careful. I don't want to fall from there. A little gas then. One hour later. Later!
Wow, that was so cool. I never thought I'd get to ride in a Lamborghini. Now look to your left and tell me what do you think of this house? Okay, let's see. Wow, JJ, look how big this house is. The house is very cool, but why is TV Woman asking about it? Because this is your home now. Oh my god! We are finally going to live in an awesome big house! We are the happiest people! And our dream has finally come true! Now I'll park the car and show you the house! What a great TV woman! I can't believe this is really happening to us! I had no idea she wanted to give us a house! Me too, Mikey! I thought just something inexpensive and nice like candy! And now we have a huge house! Let's see what you have in your new home now! I'd love to! Very interested in how we're going to live now! Now we will definitely never complain about our house ever again! Come on in and check it all out. Come on, Mikey, let's go. My God, it feels like a palace, not a house. I can't believe we're gonna live in a house like this now. My lifesavers deserve it. I'm not even sure we deserve such a huge house. I decided that this house would be perfect for you because it's very large, beautiful, and has a lot to offer. That's super cool. Let's go on to see the other rooms as well. I don't even realize how many rooms there are and how much stuff there is. This is where your new bathroom is. It's specially made in such a cool style. It's pretty cool, especially especially looking at the bathroom we had before. And this is, I take it, the hall, and it looks just gorgeous, too. This room is bigger than our last house. I really can't believe you're giving us such a huge house. Guys, this is not even up for discussion. You will definitely get this house and live here. Okay, then I won't argue anymore and we'll just enjoy it. And here, I take it, is the exit to the garage. Wish we had a car, but I think a garage will come in handy sooner or later. It's still awesome. I don't even know if I should show directly all the rooms because it would take a very long time. We're still very interested, so let's go ahead and watch it right now. JJ, look at the huge TV we have now. I've always wanted to watch cartoons just like this. It really is. Or we used to watch it on old TV. I'm glad you can watch normally now. Now showing you the kitchen where everything works and you can use whatever you want. We don't really like to cook, but I think we'll enjoy doing it now. Here you have a room with all sorts of things I haven't had time to sort through. So great to look at later. No problem, it's not the most interesting thing anyway. Especially since there's a whole second floor up there. It's true, I can't even imagine what else is out there. We can do laundry here. Finally, our hands can rest. Sure, guys, it's a private room, second floor elsewhere. I thought that was the whole second floor. You've seen from the outside how big this house is. There's a million more rooms, I'm sure. Mikey's right, there really are a lot more rooms. I still can't believe my and Mikey's happiness, it's great. Here's your staircase and the climb to the second floor. Now you'll see what's out there. Come on, Mikey. I still have no idea what's in there. I think you'll definitely be surprised at what's in here, guys. It's an interesting mystery. I don't even want to think what's in here. JJ, I think it's a trampoline. That's right. You want to jump in here? There's also a foosball table. Mikey, there's a trampoline and you can jump on a special platform. It's way cooler. Here you have couches standing and you can jump in and out all the time. I think it's a lot of fun. This is so awesome. There's nothing cooler than a trampoline in the house. I'm glad you like it so much. You can't even imagine. Imagine how excited we are about all of this now. Then you'll jump later, and then I'll show you what else is on the second floor. I think the trampoline is the coolest thing here anyway. Here you have a room with billiards. If you like that, I think that's cool too. We're not really into pool, but I think we'd love to play too. And what's in this room? I don't really remember. Go in and look it up. Okay, I'm interested. Oh, it's another room with lots of different boxes. It's still better to take the time later and see what's in those boxes. And we even have a small gym here. I didn't know if you liked it, so I only left a small part of it here. Either way, it will come in handy sooner or later. I don't even know how much time we'll spend on all of this. You have a room there to draw in, but I think you'll like the other room much better. What's in there? Oh, wow, we even have our own computer here. And this is my room to sleep in. I am very happy to have my own computer. Thank you very much. And here, and Mikey has his own bed and his own computer for you to play together. Wow, we have two whole computers? I didn't expect to be so lucky at all. You deserve it all. I'll say it again. Either way, we are very very grateful for it. And I too for saving my life. Can we talk to you in person about something? Yes, of course. Mikey, stay here for a while, please. We'll be right there. TV woman, what did you want to talk to me about? I'd like to show you a secret room in here. Wow, well, why don't you want Mikey here? And besides, it's a bathroom and we've been in here. But you didn't know there was a secret passageway. Uh, what? I never in my life would have guessed
realized it wasn't just paintings, but a secret entrance. JJ, let's get over here. I really want to spend some quality time with you. Wow, are you telling the truth or is this a joke? No kidding, I'm in love with you. And I immediately fell in love with a beautiful and gorgeous girl like you. Then let's spend some time together in this room. Sure, beautiful. I'll spend my whole life with you now. Very sweet, JJ. A few minutes later. Awesome for me to play here, but I'm tired of waiting for JJ and TV Woman already. The trampoline is a lot of fun, too. I already want to look for where the two of them are. They're not on the second floor and can't be seen here. That's really weird. I'll look for them. And I don't see them here, either. Where are they? In the other room, then. What a big house we have, after all. Apparently nowhere in the house. Maybe they went outside. Are you guys here? They're not here either. That's really weird. Maybe I didn't check the whole house properly? Uh. I've already run around the house ten times and my friends are just missing. Maybe the same thief decided to steal them? I'm having a great time with you, but let's get back to Mikey. Okay, JJ, that's fine with me too. Hey, Mikey, where are you at? Uh, why are you sitting here crying? I just thought you disappeared. It's okay, we were here. Stop crying and let's go have some fun. Then let's watch some cartoons. I was going to suggest that too, especially on such a cool and new TV. After all, we've never seen cartoons in color and on the big screen before. It's true, JJ. I'm awake and now I'm ready to get out of bed and head off to school. Even though I'm really lazy to do it, Mikey and I have to go there. I hope he's awake and ready to go out by now or it's getting late and we might be late. I doubt he's eating or watching cartoons. Hopefully he's just packing and not sleeping. He's not here either. Now I'm pretty sure he's still asleep. Hey, Mikey! Oh, it looks like he's getting ready to go to school. Mikey, what's taking you so long to pick out what you're wearing to school? I just wanted a new look, that's all. Let's just get your backpack and go to school. Stop wasting time. Okay, JJ. I couldn't come up with anything anyway. You and I already look really good, and we don't need to change our overall look. You're right. Our outfit is our calling card, so it was a waste of time trying to find something else. Now, let's run to the bus stop and get a cab because I don't want to walk. Hopefully, today will be an easy day and we'll get to our favorite house early. Anyway, you and I don't get that tired at school all the time. That's true, but I still don't like being in school for long. No one likes that, JJ. Uh-huh. Where's that cab already? How should I know? Why are you yelling at me? I don't want to be late. Here's a cab, finally. You should have just waited a bit and not worried. Let's sit down already. We have to go to school. Please bring us as soon as possible. Don't worry. You can take your time. It's just that JJ is a panicking guy. A few minutes later... Phew, we made it. Thanks so much to the cab driver for getting us there quickly. I think he's a little surprised you were in such a hurry to get to school. I don't like to be late. Calm down. We're near the school, so let's go there or I can't listen to your panic anymore. I wish I could say I missed school, but I don't. If I could, I'd go home right now. We'll sit here for a while and then go home to rest. You were afraid of being late and now you're just standing there. Then let's run. I'm taking less time than you anyway. Yay, school. Let's start running and rushing around. I don't really feel like it. Let's go to class because everyone's already there. I saw the teacher too, so I agree with you. I told you we had to hurry. It's a good thing we did. Especially since the teacher's already here. Come on in, guys. I'd love to. Hopefully there will be something interesting today. Everyone's already here and the back seats are taken. Yeah, it's no problem. I'm even in the mood to sit closer today. Guys, hello again. Today we will be repeating the topic of addition and subtraction. See how simple it is? You and I know this topic perfectly well. Yeah, that's totally true. Listen up, we're taking the test tomorrow. No problem at all. The easiest test for me will be. I think you should be able to handle it too. I'm afraid of tests because I can get nervous. Is to just do it all over again and not have to worry about it. Stay focused. Two hours later. I've said everything I wanted to say so you can go home today. That's great. I told you it would be an easy day. Guys, we're not going anywhere. You must stay and learn about the new water park. Who are you? Get out of here. No, this is our commercial and we'll be here. What's going on here? I'm even embarrassed to look at these girls. Watch this space. You guys are going to owe it to yourselves to visit our new water park. Guys, I don't know who they are. That's cool though. I'd love to go aqua park. Keep the watermelons because they're free at our water park. Awesome. I love watermelons. Come on, Mikey. Let's get all the watermelons. That's 
so cool. I love this kind of advertising. Guys, please go home. You don't have to watch this. And I still want to stay and see how it ends and what else they give. You get out of here, too, or you'll regret doing it. Oh, I don't like how rude she's being to us. I'm getting scared, too. Mikey, I think something bad is about to happen. I still want to stay to watch. Just stay out of my way because I'm going to punish them now. I don't think it's going to be scary now. It's going to be a lot of fun. I think she's going to hit them with a ruler. Get up to the table quickly or I'll force it. Please don't. We realized we made a mistake. Look, Mikey. Wow, this is incredible. Look how beautifully they stand now. Do you realize now that you made a mistake? We figured that out a long time ago. It makes me want to try hitting like that, too. I really do. I'm afraid to even stand next to our teacher. Look, JJ, I'm going to punish them for doing this, too. That's so cool. They deserve to be treated that way. Please stop hitting us. We really get it. OK, I really want to try to hand punish them for that, too. Ha ha ha! Take that! Please, can we get out of here already? I think you've really got it all figured out by now, so you can go rest. You guys are crazy. I won't run to school ever again. What fun I was having just now. My spirits were lifted much higher. We will avenge this horror on you. Thanks for letting us stay and punishing them, too. Now you know that I can definitely punish bad people always. With a teacher like that, there's no fear even if criminals come. Thank you for that. Very cool that we didn't leave after all and spent the day at school today. Hey guys, please share the watermelons. I didn't have time to get any. Sure, take it. I've managed to take a lot. I can see that everyone is excited about the girls coming in with watermelons. And the girls themselves were really cool, even though they did the wrong things. I'm glad I was able to punish them with my palm, too. It felt good. I just don't understand why Mikey ran away so fast. What took you so long? The cab just left because of you. It's all right. I just wanted to walk, not just ride. What for? Because I'm in a good mood and I love going for walks. And cab rides are boring, especially when you're not in a hurry to get anywhere. I'll throw away the watermelon so it won't be hard to walk. The next day. School wasn't as much fun today as it was yesterday. But we wrote the test and we got better grades. That's the only thing that lifted my spirits. It's not every day you'll have girls coming over with watermelons. Unfortunately, it's true. JJ, look, I think someone's coming to visit. That's really weird. Who could it be? But I don't see anyone in the house, JJ. I'll close the door so no one comes in. Don't move, you're under arrest. Oh my God, what's going on? You'd better stay where you are. We know what you've been doing. But we haven't done anything. Why are you breaking into our house and arresting us? The reason is not explained. You broke the law and we know Could it. Could this be a mistake? We certainly didn't do anything really. One hour later. I'm telling you honestly, we were walking home from school. I don't want to hear your excuses. But you have no right to just lock us up like this. It's useless. We need to think of someone who can save us. No one will help you. Just sit back and serve your time. But we really didn't do anything. We need a lawyer. I'll be filing a complaint against you. Mikey, I don't want to sit here at all. I don't know about you, but I really have to use the toilet. And I'm glad there's one here. Oh my god, Mikey, can't you just be patient? I'm here too, and I don't want to smell it. It's too late to decide anything. I won't be able to stop. We're entitled to one call. Police officer! What are you yelling about again? We have the right to make a phone call, and I want to do it. How do you know everything? All right, get on the phone. I'll give you a minute. Thank you. One minute will be enough for me. The call will be confidential, if anything. Mikey, I've got an idea. We'll call the teacher, and she'll definitely help us. Right. You're a genius, JJ. Remember how she punished those girls? Girls? That's right. I'm going to talk to her now. I hope she can help. Hello? Teacher, they put us in jail for nothing. Help us. Oh my god, JJ. I'll be right there. We're waiting. Much, much later. JJ, I think our teacher's here. What's up with you guys? The police came to us and put us in jail for nothing. And we don't even know what we did wrong. And they won't tell us why. We don't know what to do now. Are you telling the truth? Yeah, we're not lying. Is the policeman in there? Yeah, somewhere that way. Then I'll come to him now and punish him severely. Great. I think the teacher can get us out of here. Here. I have full confidence in it. All we have to do now is wait. The cop's gonna regret letting us make that call. Who else could be planted in this village? I don't understand it yet. Why did you put two of my students in jail for nothing? Woman, get out of here and don't interfere with my work. I'm not releasing them. Do you even know what I can do to you? Quickly go and open them. I'm not doing it. I'm telling you again. Don't make me angry and punish you for acting outside the law. What are you going to do for me? I'll put you in jail too, and no one will help you. You'll regret what you said. Now I'll punish you. You know the story about the ruler? Oh, God, no. Ouch, please let go. Do you realize now that you did a bad thing? Yes, I get it. Please stop. You're going to let Mikey and 
JJ go and not touch them anymore? I'll do whatever you say. Please forgive me for being rude to you. It's still quite small. You'll get more than I usually do because you're a bad cop and such shouldn't work. I'll be better. Please stop. I'll finish when I decide. Oh, God, please stop hurting me. Five minutes later. Stop pacing, Mikey. I'm just a little worried, JJ. I'll let them out. Oh, look, I think it's working. You're gonna put people in jail for nothing? I won't do anything wrong. Please get out of here quickly. The policeman seems to have figured it all out with the help of the teacher. This horrible man won't just put people in jail anymore so you can rest easy. Thank you very much. You're welcome, guys. Now we can safely go home and rest. Let me walk you out so you don't get in trouble. We will be only too happy to do so. In case someone bothers us again. Don't worry, I won't let my favorite students get in trouble. So glad we have such a great and strong teacher. I just want you guys to be okay. We'll definitely be safe with you. You'll even win a cop. It's just a matter of being confident and not being afraid of anyone. I hope we too can be as awesome as our teacher someday. Then no one can hurt us in this world. That's right. Here we are home again. Now no one will take us away from here and we'll finally get some rest. Thank you again for your help. Mikey and I appreciate you so much. You just study hard and that's it. We will definitely be doing this so that there are no problems with us. Hey, were you the ones who beat us up in class the other day? Oh my god, why did they come to us? Why don't you kick them out? Do you want to get a ruler again or what? Oh my god, it's the crazy one. I don't want to get involved with her again either. Bye guys, I'm going to go talk to them. Ha ha ha, they didn't expect our teacher to be here. Now they'll have to run a long time to avoid getting ruled again. The main thing is that we have no problems. I'm shocked at how awesome our teacher is. Now I realize we have no right to screw up in front of her. Exactly, or I don't want to get a ruler. I think it hurts a lot. Let's not think about it. Our teacher loves us, and that's why we'll be safe. Now let's just go home and watch TV before it's too late. I agree, because we haven't been inside since high school. That's why I suggest just sitting on the couch and watching cartoons in peace. We are walking our friendly group with Mikey and three beautiful girls. Yeah, JJ, except we gotta go home now. Why would you do that? We're already taking a long walk today. We can meet up again tomorrow. And today we need to rest. Well, what are we gonna do tomorrow then? Why don't we start going to everyone's houses tomorrow? That's a great idea. Then tomorrow I invite you all to my house. Okay, JJ, then we'll be waiting for you outside our house tomorrow. Okay, girls, I can get you all to me by car and cab. I thought we were gonna go to my place first, but okay. No, me first. I'll see you tomorrow. Awesome girls, after all. I hope I can surprise them tomorrow. I feel like I'm kind of an extra in your company. No, Mikey, don't worry about it. Come see the girls tomorrow, too, and I'll pick you up. All right, JJ. Bye. I don't know why Mikey is upset. I think we are going to have a lot of fun and cool stuff at my house tomorrow. I think they'll be surprised when I show up in a cool car and drive them to my house. And I think they'll be shocked at my house, too. The next day... When is JJ coming to visit us? I think he'll be here soon. Look, there he comes. Wow, that's a cool car JJ has. I'll go with him. You take a cab. Come on, Mikey. I'll take you for a joyride in my car. I'd love to, JJ. But the girls can take a cab. All true. But the important thing is that now you're all coming to my house for a tour. That's cool. One hour later. We've arrived at my house, and now I'm going to show everyone how I live. Here I have my car sitting in my garage, but that's not the most important thing. But your car is really cool. JJ, pay the cab driver so he goes home. Right, I forgot about that. I'm sorry. Here's your money. Thank you so much for bringing us. Take it all. Wow, thanks for so much. I'm rich now. You're welcome. Buy yourself something useful. And now we're going to go so I can show you how I live my life. Now begins the fun part, I think. We're already very interested to see what you've got in there. Then stop just just standing there and let's go to my house, please. Girls, really, let's hurry up. We're running, JJ, you just keep going. All right, I just came running and you're still nowhere near me. You know, girls, you have to wait a long time for them to do anything. We're already here, stop talking bad about us. All right, then I'll ring the doorbell to alert my butler and we'll go in. Welcome to my humble home. Wow, JJ, you have a butler? Good afternoon, JJ, glad you're back home again. Hey, butler, I'm here with my friends, so we're going to have a tour today. I'm a little shocked. We're all in shock. All all right, JJ, I'll help you with that. Come on in, guys, and check out everything I have here. I don't know what else you've got here. Only the best part will come next. This room is just a regular hallway with hangers. The next room will already be much more interesting, so go through and do what you want. Can you turn on the fireplace so I can see how it works? Yes, Mikey. Of course you can ask for anything and do anything you want. You even have a pool table here. I can't imagine how much it all costs. 
I see someone sat down to see if the couch is comfortable. Very handy, JJ, and an incredibly huge TV, too. I've never seen a TV like that in my life. Let's not stay in the same room for too long because there is so much more to see. This is where I have the kitchen and a small table for us to sit and eat. Butler, can you make us some food? Yeah, sure. Anything interesting or just tasty? Just to make it tasty for everyone, please. I'll think of something. Do you always have a butler cook for you? Yeah, sure. Let him do his thing and I'll show you my porch. Why am I telling them all this, though? They can come watch with me if they want to. We're on our way, JJ. Go show us what's in there. Then come on in and see what I've got. We're already shocked at everything you've got here. I had no idea you were so cool. I think you'll like what my porch is, too. Wow, what a beauty you have here. I really like it. It really is a very cool place here. It's true. I love spending time here, too, especially in the evening. You even have lots of balls and a basketball hoop here. That's cool. And of course, there is a stunning view of the beauty of our world from here. How do you like my place, beautiful? How do you think it's going? Very cool, JJ. I'd live here all my life. I don't mind everyone being here because my house is big and there's plenty of room for everyone. And now I suggest you go see more of my house because I still have lots of rooms here. Come on, let's not waste time in one place. Come on, JJ, we're really interested. Then we'll go down to the floor below and I think you'll be a little surprised what else I've got in there. I'm already even a little scared to see something incredible again. I also have a bunch of rooms here also go and see whatever you're interested in. I take it you're sleeping here somewhere? Yeah, here's my big bed and another TV. I like to watch cartoons before bed. You've got a MacBook here too, cool. I rarely use it because I have a TV here and I'm fine with it. This is really cool. We want to see what else is out there. Yeah, no problem. Let's keep looking. JJ, wait. Now, Mikey, I'm coming to you while you girls see what else I have in the other room. Wow, what do you have in there? You do what you want and touch what you want. I'll be right there. All right, JJ, thank you. All right, Mikey, now tell me what you want. Can you give me money to go home? Yeah, sure, there you go. Why do you have to go home? It's just that you're coming to visit me later, and I'd like to clean up a bit. Why, Mikey? Don't think about it and stay with us. I'll be a little uncomfortable at home then. Then the girls and I will walk you out now, and then we'll come back a little later. And also, then you can go get some food because I cooked everything. Thank you so much. We will definitely try what you did later. Let me walk you out too. Nothing important about it, but thank you for being kind as usual. Mikey goes away, and I'll show you another cool room. Come see me in about an hour minimum, please. All right, Mikey, we'll be there for sure. Thanks for showing your home. I hope you like mine, too. Bye, Mikey. Nice to meet you. Okay, now let's see what I have in that room. Wow, JJ, what a huge and big bathroom you have. Yes, girls. I go to the shower very often and I like to be clean. That's why I made such a beautiful bathroom. You even have a bathtub that big in here. Come join us, JJ. We'll hang out here together. Wow, of course I'd love to hang out with you guys here. Your place is awesome. I love it. I don't want to leave here at all. Mikey's gone anyway and we won't be seeing him for a while, but for now, let's go eat what the butler made for us. It's my pleasure, JJ. I'm glad the girls liked my house so much. I would love to have them come live with me later if they agree. In the meantime, let's just eat a little, especially since I'm sure my butler made something incredibly delicious. Wow, JJ, I didn't think the butler could cook any tastier than us, even though we're girls. Thank him so much. Eat up, girls. It's all yours. You can eat as much as you want. We'd love to eat it all. And then we're off to see how Mikey lives. A few moments later. We've already arrived at the right address, but we don't understand exactly where he lives yet. Are you sure this is the right address? There are no houses here. Guess we'll just have to wait for Mikey now. Hi guys, glad you're here. Now come on, I'll show you my house. I told you we'd come to the right place, but I still don't understand exactly where the house is. Apparently somewhere far away. All right, we'll walk around a bit and that's good. Geez, what kind of weird swamp is this? It smells really bad too. Yeah, guys. There's a very old lake here if you want to go swimming. Seriously? Are you swimming in here? We wouldn't really want to touch that water in general. And neither will we. Don't worry. Let me show you my house where I live. This is my beautiful home. Seriously? I thought it was some abandoned old house at first. Enough with the shyness. Let's go first and I'll show you my animal pen. I don't understand why it's so dirty and cobwebbed. I just don't clean it up, that's all. You should see the cute animals I have living here. Uh, that's nice, sure. But it's a little weird that someone still lives like that. I never thought people could keep pigs in the house. I honestly don't either, but I hope it's better there in the house. Here, come in and see everything. I have a living room here with a TV and a couch. Strange that your whole house is made of stone and the TV is very old here. It's only going to get more interesting from here.
here. I'm a little scared to go further in general. Here I have my bed where I just sleep and relax. Yeah, does this bed fit one person? The horror. And here I have my closet with various things. How do you like my image? No, Mikey, this is very strange. You better walk like you used to walk. Okay, then let's go ahead and see what I have. I can't imagine sleeping in a bed like this every day. I understand what you're talking about, pretty girl. I don't know how. Are you sure you want to see what else is out there? We promised Mikey to see everything anyway. I hope at least one room is cool. And here is my room with a computer. Here I often play old games. My god, Mikey. You have some kind of cobwebs in every room and everything is strange. I don't even want to be here anymore. I don't understand how you can live here and be satisfied with everything. It's incredibly strange. He didn't like it either, to be honest. It's a very strange house and everything is very dirty and incomprehensible. I don't have any words at all. It's like I found myself in my grandfather's village. It surprises me very much. Please take the money and make yourself a proper repair, Mikey. My house is normal and everything suits me. I will not change anything here. Then the girls and I better come back to my place. Yes, I agree. I don't like it here. Well, then leave and live in your rich houses. And you live in your horrible old house. I have a normal house. This is the worst house I've ever seen, and you and I are no longer friends. Let's get away from this poor guy. We'd better have a good rest in a nice and clean house. And let Mikey make a house for himself first, and then just hang out with us. It's so nice at my house after Mikey's house. It's true, JJ. Why don't you all go relax in the pool? Exactly. Great idea, as I haven't shown you guys this yet, and it's really cool in there. Why didn't you tell us you had a pool before? I just didn't make it, but now we can have a great time here. Let's jump in and have a great time in my beautiful home. We are very happy to be with you. You're the coolest person ever. Thank you, girls. I now officially invite you to come live with me and spend time with me every day. We agree, JJ. I still don't want to leave here ever. Great. I'll be very happy to have you. And so are we. Just then. I don't understand why they were so rude about my house. I really like how I have everything here. Of course, I would like a butler and huge TVs too. But they stopped talking to me because I have a bad house. And the pig ate all the money. God, I'm a loser. I don't want to live here anymore. I want to move to another house. Mikey and I are out for a walk and waiting for TV Woman, as we will be walking the three of us today. I'm really excited about it. I love it when the three of us hang out. It's fun. What are you picking up now and for what? Don't mind, JJ. It's just an interesting little thing. Thought I'd keep it. You're weird, Mikey, but OK. Just don't give it to me. Oh, JJ, here comes our TV Woman. Hello, my friends. You're finally here. Let's go for a walk now. Have you decided where we're going? Let's just follow this path. Let's go through this beautiful little archway and then we'll figure out exactly what we want to do. Look how beautiful it is here. It's true, Mikey. A very unusual place. I love things that nature has made herself. I'm honestly a little doubtful that nature did it. Me too, JJ. And I'm sure of it. Oh, there's a cop in there. Hey, what are you guys doing here? We just went out for a walk to see some beautiful places. And what's wrong with that? Don't you know the story? No, which one? There's a dangerous criminal in town who's kidnapping people. I don't advise you to stay on the streets. And we didn't even know about it, honestly. If we're going to get stolen, then I don't want to be on the street. We can't risk our lives, so we will definitely go home. It's the right thing to do. It's safer that way. Then let's not go anywhere today and just go home and watch cartoons. I'm a little scared to stay here, too, so let's hurry up and go home. You guys can walk me home, right? Yeah, of course we're not going to leave you in the lurch. Hurry up, please. Five minutes later. Here we are outside your house, TV woman. Thanks so much for seeing me off, guys. Hope to see you soon. And we hope to be able to go for a walk soon. Wait, JJ. JJ, I don't understand. We could have gone to your place to watch cartoons together. Actually, I didn't even think about it. We're safe in the house. Then I'll go get her. All right, come on. Hey, TV woman, come on over here and join us. I don't think she can hear you from here, Mikey. She's already running here. Guys, what happened? I thought you were in some kind of trouble and someone was trying to steal you. We just wanted to invite you to come and visit me. Great idea, guys. I agree. Then let's hurry up and run before someone comes and tries to steal us. We're already running, Mikey. We've got it all figured out. It's a good thing we're so close to home. It's true. I'm very glad we live so close. Literally a few seconds and we were already running into Mikey and I's house. Now let's go inside and watch cartoons. I totally agree. Although I wanted to go for a walk, it's still better to be safe at home. If we get bored, we always have fun at our house. Let's just sit down and watch cartoons already. I'm really interested, especially since you always have my favorite cartoon going on and I love it. I like it too, especially when we have such a friendly group. It's true. I'm feeling pretty good too. One hour later!
I had a lot of fun, guys, but it's time for me to go home already. Yes, of course, and we'll go to bed already. Bye then, guys. Thanks again for the invite and hope to see you tomorrow. Bye, beautiful. See you later. And I'm really going to go to bed because it's going to be late soon and I'm really tired tonight. Then I'll go to bed too. There's nothing for me to do alone anyway. Good night, JJ. See you tomorrow. Bye, Mikey. Good night. Hopefully overnight the police can catch this horrible criminal and we can have a safe walk outside tomorrow. For now, I'm just going to rest and build up my strength because something is making me sleepy even though it's light outside, especially on my most comfortable bed. Give me a like if you like to sleep too and subscribe to the channel if you don't sleep enough. In the meantime, I'm going to sleep. It's nighttime and JJ seems to have been asleep for a long time. Which means it's time for me to get out of bed and go do my favorite thing sooner rather than later. And I can do my favorite thing, steal people. And I know who I'll steal. There she is, Sleeping Beauty and guessing nothing. And now I'll take her to my hiding place. Oh my God, what's going on? Put me down. You better keep quiet so I don't make things worse for you. Where are you taking me? Please don't. Now you're gonna live here and you're gonna do what I say. Oh no, please don't. <laughs> the next morning. It's morning and I've had a good night's sleep. Time to get up and start doing my usual morning routine. I'm wondering if Mikey's awake yet. Let's see if he's eating. No, he's not here. Then maybe he's already eaten and gone upstairs to watch cartoons. Especially since I know how fast he eats. Oh, he's not here either, weird. Is he still sleeping in his bed? Then I have to go wake him up immediately. Because I'm bored and I want to watch cartoons with him. Mikey, get up. Oh, what are you doing here? I'm awake and reading, JJ. But you never like to read. What's wrong with you? I just realized I wanted to be more well-read. Stop being silly and go watch cartoons. It's more fun. Okay, JJ. I don't mind watching a cartoon, but it's good to read books too. Maybe. But either way, the two of us always have more fun watching cartoons than reading. It really is, which is why I'm okay with it. Sit on the couch and turn on our cartoon. Hold on, JJ. This is breaking news. Oh, no. Breaking news. A girl is missing again, and the police suspect the same person who stole the first one is doing it. I now turn the floor over to the head policeman. Thank you. We don't have any idea where the girls might be, so if you've seen this villain, be sure to tell us. And also, if you have any information where these beautiful girls might be, then also call me and I will rescue them. Let's not just sit back and do what we can to punish the perpetrator and find the girls. Oh my god, TV woman's been kidnapped. It's too bad. We can't just sit here when she's in danger. I agree. Let's try to find either the girls or the perpetrator. Maybe we're not looking for the perpetrator. But why? Uh, well, I don't want to. I'm just scared. But it's only with his help that we'll find the girls. Yeah, you're right. We need to find one of the three at least. Then let's waste no time and run. The two of us can defeat evil and save the girls. Then you and I should go in different directions and try to look for someone. I think it's better that way, too. Then let's go to our village first and see there. All right, Mikey, let's go. I hope we can help the police and save TV woman and speaker woman. You go left, JJ, I'll go All right. All right, Mikey, on my way. Hey, guys, have you seen TV woman or speaker woman? No, JJ, I haven't seen them around here in a long time. <laughs> JJ doesn't even realize I kidnapped them all. I already have a plan to stop JJ from finding the girls. I'll make him a trap and he'll sit with them and stay out of my way. Two hours later. My God, no one saw the kidnapper or the girls. I don't even know where else to look for them. But I'm sure I can't stop and need to look for them. Uh, wait, who's this? Oh no, that's the same criminal that was on TV. I'm really scared, but I have to run after him and try to stop him. Then I'll call the police and we'll save the girls. I can only be brave and hope he doesn't hurt me. I have to get a grip and be brave. Now I catch him and I'll be the coolest guy in town. Come here you horrible kidnapper. Oh my god, no! Now you will also be kidnapped and no one will ever find you again. Please don't do this. You're done, haha. -ha. Oh my god, where am I? Now you're in your new home for the long haul. Stay here now. God, you're awful. You're going to get caught anyway. This is so bad. Now I'm caught too, and no one will find me for a long time. Oh, who's washing up in there? Is that TV woman? Wow, it's really cool to see such a great figure, but I'd rather just wait for her and talk to her later. Oh my god, please don't touch me. It's me, JJ. It's so good to see you. And I'm glad you're alive and well, beautiful. We're just sitting here with speaker woman, and no one 
one's touched us yet. I see you even have a shower here, but where is she? Hi, JJ. I've been watching you here for a while, actually. Oh, this is unexpected, but I'm very glad you're alive and well. And we're glad to have a man by our side. Wow, that's really good to hear. Now let's ask this horrible man for some food. I wouldn't mind, but I didn't think he was feeding you here. He's terrible, but at least he doesn't leave us hungry. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. What do you need? It's actually been a long time since we've eaten here. Take some bread and don't distract me again. Wow, that's good. Thank you. And you're coming with me, pretty girl, to help me. Don't worry. Just eat and wait for me. That's too bad. Just go quietly and don't do anything stupid here. I don't understand. Why did he take her to his place? I don't even know, but I'm afraid she's going to be sick. Don't worry. We'll punish him sooner or later. I don't understand how such people can live in our friendly village. I'm just angry already. I understand your emotions, but we have to endure. I'm sure sooner or later the police will find him and punish him. But for now, I'm really worried about my speaker woman. Me too, to be honest. Now come on in. You've done your job. You are the worst person in my life. I don't want to see you. What's wrong? What did he do to you? Hold the bread and stop pushing pity. I don't need anything anymore. Oh my god, what happened? Now you come with me or I'll kill you. All right, I'm coming. You just sit there and don't move. Don't touch the girl. I'll personally kill you for it. Jesus, I gotta find out what he's doing to those poor girls. Speaker woman, what's wrong with you? What did he do to you? I don't want to talk about it. Please don't be upset and sad. Sooner or later they will find us and we will live a peaceful life. Thank you, JJ, but I want to sit here. Yeah, sure, stay here. This is just disgusting. I don't know why you're doing this to us. Oh my God, why are they all coming out upset? That's none of your business. I'll do anything to keep you in jail. Good luck to you. <laughs> what kind of horror is going on? Girls, please don't be sad. I promise you we'll get out of here. At least I'm really hoping so. The police have to save us sometime. I don't want to be here anymore, JJ. And you don't have to, girls and boys. We found you at last. Oh my God, girls. I told you we'd get out of here. What's wrong with them? They probably just don't realize we're alive. Girls, a cop saved us. Oh my God, this isn't a joke. Let's see who's hiding under that horrible mask. I hope he stays in jail for a long time and doesn't hurt anyone else. I want to see him taken to the police. And I too hope he couldn't get away. We got him, JJ. There he stands. Now he can't hurt anyone. Take off all your clothes, you criminal. I'm going to do it now, but I don't understand how you caught me. Oh my God, it's Mikey. How could you do that? I can't believe my eyes. Punish him to the fullest extent. I think the police know the right way to deal with such a horrible person. And I'll definitely be glad if the person I thought was my friend rots in prison for the rest of his life. Where did the girls go and why? Uh, JJ, would you like to celebrate our freedom with us? Oh my God, of course. Then the two of us will wait for you in bed. I'm running, my beautiful girls. One week later. Mikey and I sit at my house and just watch cartoons. Nothing interesting going on with us. Although, I'm a little tired of being home already. Then let's finish watching cartoons and go for a walk. Or maybe something else can be thought of. We've already done everything we can at home, JJ. Well, at least we haven't played billiards yet. Or do you want to go for a walk? Let's just go for a walk and then go to billiards. Okay, no problem. But I just don't want to walk like that. Let's find something interesting. Now we'll go somewhere and we'll decide on you there. It's just that the the main thing is not to stay at home. I understand what you're talking about, but it can just be very boring outside too. Let's at least go to our little park first. Okay, JJ, but what do you want to do here? I don't know yet. Wait, I saw a beautiful girl. I thought it would be interesting. Then let's see what she's doing there. Let's go here soon. Now we'll carefully watch her first. She doesn't seem to be in the best mood. But I already realized that I fell in love. She is incredibly beautiful, JJ. Do you mind if she's mine? Of course, Mikey. If you're in love, then you'll be with her. Thanks, JJ. Then ran to communicate with her. Come on, JJ. Hey, beauty. Why are you sitting here sad? It's a very complicated story. Please tell us. It's just that my boyfriend dumped me, and now I'm really hard on my soul and not in the mood. Such a gorgeous girl shouldn't be sad. Take these flowers and smile, please. I totally agree with my friend. Wow, this is so unexpected and nice. Thank you so much for this. You're very cool. Let's take a walk together now. I'm really glad you guys are together now. Let's have fun now. Now let's decide what the three of us want to do. Let's go for a walk and look at different places. But I'm very happy that Mikey has such a beautiful girlfriend now. I think we can have a great time together. Sorry, JJ. We were just looking at each other a little too much. It's not a problem. A few minutes later. 
Kate. Have you figured out what you want to do? Not yet. We're just walking around looking. Let's make a difference already and not just walk. Then what do you suggest? Here, guys, look. We can go into this restaurant and sit down to eat and socialize. Are you guys hungry? I'm honestly not that hungry. You don't have to just eat in silence. You can order some food and sit around chatting. I think it's a bad idea. We don't want that. I don't like it either. Gosh, well then, let's move on and see what else we've got in the village. We just don't know what we want yet. But the important thing is that I'm having fun with you guys. Wait, guys, there's also a gym. Why don't we just make the most of our time? Hmm, that's interesting. I'd like to lose some extra weight. Then let's go over there. Well, we finally made up our minds. Let's see what's inside then. I've never seen a gym in the village before. Hello. We would like to know if the three of us can come to your gym and work out. We think we're going to have fun. Yes, of course you can stop by and try your hand here. Are you happy? Uh, sure. Then I need to figure out which of these things I specifically want to do today. Mikey went to do bench presses. It'll be good for him. And the pretty girl is going to hit the punching bag. And I'll try to run, but I'm already a little difficult to do it. God, it's really hard. I can't do it. I don't like it. I don't want to run on the treadmill. I'd rather go to the hottie to hit the punching bag. Especially with a figure like that. Did you say something to me, JJ? Um, no. I just wanted to hit the punching bag, too. And I'll go to the other one. Okay, JJ, but you're really cool at it. You're apparently a very strong and cool guy. Thank you, beautiful. Let's see how Mikey's doing. Yes, I agree. He probably has the hardest job. So, Mikey, did you make it to the barbell? Yes, of course. Maybe we should take a break, then. That's a good idea. Especially since we have a really cool pool here. That's awesome. We're going to have fun in the pool. Then come on in and relax. I'm going to be the first one to see it. Wow, and the pool is big enough. We're definitely going to have a lot of fun here. Hurry up and get in here. Wow, it's such a pool. I'm the first one to jump in. I'm not even surprised by that, Mikey. But I'm really looking forward to jumping in already, too. I'm so glad I'm in the pool with you. And I feel really good to be here with you. Oh, my God. Why don't you guys get out of here and we'll go swimming together? Don't be a bore, JJ. I've had my fill, so you two stay here. All right, I'll leave you guys alone. That's good. Now I can say that after talking to the hottie, I think I'm in love with her, too. But it's probably not going to be pretty if I think about it now. But I also now don't like the fact that they are always having a nice time in front of me and forget about me. I'm having so much fun with you. And I feel very comfortable with you. I don't really like it, though. Two hours later. TV Woman invited us to be their guests, and I'm so glad I'm with them. Here's my house, guys. Now I'm going to show you how I live. And I'm so glad you agreed to come to me. I'm all for always being with you, so let's run inside. Yeah, and I don't mind spending time with Mikey and such a beautiful girl. Thanks again for calling me out, too. It's cool that you have a cartoon here, but the TV's pretty small. I love everything about it. And it's not nice to be so rude, Mikey. I'm going to sit here and watch anyway. I'm going to get close to TV Woman and try to tell her how I feel. Hey, pretty lady. Lady, don't you need my help? No, JJ, it's all right. You sit back and relax, and I'll make you some tea. I can't just look at a figure like that. Gotta tell her while Mikey sits there. Especially since he can't hear a thing. What are you saying? I like you. Maybe you'd like some privacy. Are you serious? But Mikey's in there. I can just tell him I'm feeling a little sick, and I want to rest, and you'll come to me. You think that's a good plan? I think it might work. Well, then let's go try to do that. Great. I'm really glad we have reciprocity. I'll wait for you here. Mikey, I'm getting so sick. Can you help me? I just want to lie down somewhere. Oh, my God. Why did this happen? I don't even know, Mikey. Then come on, I'll take you and you can go to bed. All right, thank you. I feel very dizzy. I think the best solution would be to just lie down. Sure, JJ, you must be exhausted from the gym. Thank you so much, Mikey. I think I'll feel better here. Then lie down and rest. If you need help, I'll be there for you. Don't worry, Mikey. I can watch him myself in peace. Okay, then I'll just go watch more cartoons. Of course you go, Mikey. Don't worry. But the plan worked just fine. JJ, hurry up and come here to me. Oh, wow. Are we going to be together already? Sure. Don't you want to take a bath with me? Oh, my God. Of course I want to. I'm so happy to have such a beautiful girl with me now. I thought you didn't like me, but it turns out you were just afraid. I liked you from the start. It's just that Mikey thought he saw you first. I was a little jealous. The important thing is that you're with me now, and I'm very happy about that. I'm ready to look at your figure and face for the rest of my life. And I'm ready to live with you for the rest of my life, handsome. I am extremely glad that now we have found each other. Oh no, Mikey, that's not what you think. Oh no, no! Did you cheat on me in order to spend time together? Mikey, I'm sorry! We just wanted to wash up and that's it. Don't lie. We just have to tell it like it is. I didn't think my friend was capable of such a bad thing. He just said nice words to me and I liked JJ too. You just took her right away and then I realized that I also fell in love
love with her beauty. Then let her tell who she wants to be with. I totally agree with that. Of course, this is a very difficult and a little sad choice, but I choose JJ. Oh my God, I can't believe it. I'm really glad you chose me. I'm sorry, Mikey, but she made up her own mind. Just the two of you. I'll never bother you again. So glad I am now officially together with you. It has boosted my self-esteem many times over. Now come with me to my bed. We must celebrate this day. I'm ready to love you for life. I'm very lucky to have you. I'm glad it's mutual. Now relax and just look at me. My pleasure, my love. Much, much, much later. Wow, JJ. Is this really your house? Yes, beautiful. I'll show you how I live there. I really want to see it. Let's go quickly. I think we're going to have a really cool time. I have lots of different fun things to do and lots of fun things to see. I hope that's true. Although I'm with you and I'm already happy about it. This is where I have a little backyard with a pool. I really want to go for a little swim. I love pools. Of course you go, love. I'll wait for you here, and then we'll go on to see everything. Watch me jump in the water right now, JJ Yahoo. Wow, that was really cool. I loved it. I give it a 10 out of 10. Thanks, JJ. Now let's move on. I wonder what else you have. I think it's going to be a long tour, because the house I built for myself is huge and very cool. I take it you purposely put a second kitchen in here. Yeah, I like to stand like that and spend some time sometimes. Come on, I'll show you a little more of my flowers that I have growing here. I'm really glad you have this here. I love it when a man cares about plants. Don't worry, I take care of everyone I love. That's really nice. Let's go see your house next. Yeah, sure. We'll come in and we'll see a little corner where I work out right away. I had no idea you loved sports so much. I very rarely work out here, but it's important in my house. And now I invite you to my room. I can already see that you like to play computer games, too. I have a lot of stuff in my house, so I will never leave here because this is my soul. And your bed is very big, I see. Sure, maybe you want to leave the tour and see if it's soft. On the contrary, I'm eager to see what else you have, so let's move on. Uh, I thought it would be more fun the other way around, but I'll do whatever you say. You even have an aquarium, that's great! I'm really amused that you react like this to everything, but I'm glad you're only raising your opinion of me. Now the most beautiful part of the house is the first floor. I can already see that you have great taste and know how to renovate. Thank you so much. There's a reason I'm dating you. I'm glad you're excited. And even here you have flowers. That's very nice, of course. Uh, who's that coming to see me? I wasn't expecting anyone else. I don't even want to open the door. But apparently someone really wants you to open it. You can't just leave it like that, can you? I just don't like opening the door to strangers. But if you want, I'll see who's there. Yes, JJ, I do. Who do we have here? Uh, what? That's it. Your time is up. Now I've got the hottie with me. Yes, handsome. I'm ready. I've been waiting for you. And it's good to see you again, lovely. I don't get it. You said you loved me. Get out of here before I throw you out. But it shouldn't be like this. We were in love. You're much better than him. Don't listen to him. He's just talking nonsense. Goodbye, loser. Oh my god. I just don't believe it. So she was with me, talking about love. But she's just a liar. Did she dump you too, JJ? Yeah, Mikey. She told me she loved me and she told this guy I was lying. Fine. Let's forget about it and watch cartoons. I agree with you, Mikey. We shouldn't be fighting over such a horrible girl. That's right. Now we'll be together all the time again. And I'm I'm glad I have a real friend and not someone who will leave me at any moment. Many versions later. Mikey and I decided to visit my grandpa today and come to his house. It's been a long time since I've seen him and I was wondering how he was doing. Looks like your grandfather hasn't done a home remodel in a while, JJ. But I'm very interested to see what's inside. It even has my room, though I haven't been in it in ages. I hope your grandfather will be happy to see us. I take it grandpa won't hear the doorbell. I think it's easier to open the door yourself and go in. Hi, grandpa. We're here to visit you. Well done. Then come on inside my house, guys. Thank you. How are you doing? What's new? in your life. Nothing new, living in my hut and enjoying life. You have everything beautiful in your home. I'm a little surprised even. From the outside, it looked like the house was going to be all prehistoric. Let's go see my attic room. I wonder what's in there. I remember how much I loved climbing here all the time and just hanging out as a kid. Yes, JJ. That's why I don't take anything out of here and leave it as a memory. I don't get on here very often anyway, and I have nothing to do. It's a cool space that way. It's a fun place to hang out and do things. There's even a room with a toilet and washing machine. There's nothing else interesting up there. Yes, I remember it's a small room. Only two flowers fit in here, and that's it. Hey, Mikey, why are you crawling in here? Mikey who? There's no Mikey here. God, I'd rather just go upstairs and pretend I don't see him. Hey, 
actually, I was wondering the same thing. And here, I love to just lay around and play the PSP. Yes, JJ, you love this place the most. It's really cool to have places like this here in this house that evoke good vibes and memories. Let's get downstairs. I think I'm getting claustrophobic. You've never had it. Don't make stuff up. Although, really, I'm getting tired of walking around here, too. So it's safe to head home now. Your grandfather closed the door to the house for some reason. Grandpa, please open up. We have to go home. You're not going anywhere today. Jesus, what's wrong with him? Grandpa, is this some kind of joke? I know you've come to take my house. I'm not giving it up. Oh, no, Grandpa. A few minutes later. These scammers are sick and tired of coming to my house and trying to take it away afterwards. I've lived here for years, and I'll live here for years to come, and I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to kill everyone and bury them so they don't ruin my life. I hope other bad people find out about this story and never come to me. And I'll pretend it's a common grave and no one will know about them, like they never existed. Now I can safely go home and live without the fear of my house being taken. This house is mine alone and no one can ever take that away. Let them lie there. They deserve it more than anyone else. This is now their home and no one else's. Oh my god, I'm alive. But where am I? Has Grandpa lost his mind? He buried me? I guess he thought he killed me. I don't understand why he would even want to do that. He must really be going crazy in his old age. Good thing it's not all stone, but there's some wood. At least I can break that and get out. Great, I'm almost out. One more wood and that's it. Phew, super. But what's underneath me? Is this some kind of room? Oh my god, it's a whole house with all the amenities. I don't know where Grandpa buried me, but it's pretty Pretty cool. And where's the exit here? Great. I guess this is the way out, but I like the way it's set up and no one can hurt me here. I don't know what this house under the grave my grandfather buried me in is doing here, but I really like everything about it. I need to keep looking at what's in here and fully explore this secret house. I have a bathroom here. That's good. And in this room, I have my own hot tub. That's even better. There are no more rooms here, so now I want to go outside and see exactly where I am. Especially since I also saw a chest lying near the exit. Very interested to see what lies inside that. Hopefully there will be something useful in there. Oh, that'll help me find Mikey. My grandfather buried him too. I'm almost 100% sure of that. Grandpa buried us in the cemetery. Then I don't understand at all how there could be a house under the grave. Here are some two graves. Apparently I was in one and Mikey was in the other. Then I'll check it all out in order. Okay, is this where Mikey's laying? No, I was lying here. Then this grave is definitely Mikey. Now I'm gonna check it out for sure. Oh my god, did you find me? Yes, Mikey. I was able to get out on my own and find the tools to help you. Why did your grandfather start killing us? I don't understand it myself, Mikey, but I'm glad I made it out on my own. How did you do it? It's practically impossible. I started breaking the wood underneath me and ended up with some kind of house underneath me. Did your grandfather do it on purpose? Or was it some kind of coincidence? I don't know anything myself, Mikey, but I'm offering you a tour of my new home. Because this is definitely my my new home now. Very interesting story, but I don't think it's a great house there. Now look at everything with your own eyes and realize that it's pretty cool here. I didn't expect to see that here. There's even a private bathroom and a private room with a hot tub. Where's that computer with the monitors coming from? I think someone's living here. I don't know, Mikey, but I'm gonna fight for this house with all my might. I'm very surprised, JJ. I think this is your grandfather's cunning plan after all. That's definitely not true. Why would he want to kill us and bury us in a grave? Then. then I don't understand how such a cool house can be under a cemetery. Oh my god, there really is a hot tub. And I told you, this is a great place. I don't want to leave here for my regular house. Now, I want to show my pretty girl what I've got here. I'll be very interested to see her reaction, too. I think she'll have a lot of questions. Well, now, I'm going to run out and get her, invite her over, and then I'll be sure to let you know how she raided my new house. There's even a separate secret exit, which is pretty cool. Yeah, Mikey, now I've shown you all the interesting things I wanted. I don't know why Grandpa wanted to bury us, but I'm really glad it all happened. Now let's run to your girlfriend and show her your new house together. No, Mikey, I don't need you there. I'm going alone. But why? I want to hang out with her and spend time with her too. No, Mikey, I said it. I've been buried too, and this is my home too. No, Mikey, get out. You're terrible, JJ. I'm very offended. Oh my God, he's so touchy. I made it clear to him, but never mind. A few moments later... 
Here I am at my favorite hottie's house. Now I want to spend time with her. And then I'll give her a tour of my new home. My beauty, come to me soon. Why are you ringing the doorbell? Just get in the house, that's all. I just wondered if you were busy. That's why I always ring the doorbell first. It's good to see you, JJ. I've missed you so much. Follow me upstairs. I missed you so much too, so I'm willing to do anything you tell me. Then run quickly to my place because I really want to spend time with you here. Wow, I didn't realize you missed me so much. That's incredible. But first I want to show you something. Uh, what could be more important than me? What is it you want to show me? I have a new home and I'm sure we'll be much better off there. Let's stay at my place for a while first, my love. Very well, my beauty. I can't refuse such a beautiful girl. So, we're going to spend some time here and I'll be sure to show her this unusual place where I now live later. Six hours later. Come on, darling. Let's go back to my place. I'm very curious about what you took so long to tell me about today. So there they went without me to party in the house under the cemetery. I'll keep a careful eye on them. I don't have anything to do anyway. Here we are, almost running up to my coolest secret house. JJ, this is a cemetery, isn't it? Don't worry about it. Now you'll see where my house is, and I'll be sure to show you around. I'm not sure it's a great house yet. It's a very long story that I don't really want to tell, but this is my home here now. What? Your house is a great no, my house is underneath all these graves. Come on, I'll show you the normal entrance. Well, this is all a bit scary to me, JJ. I don't understand any of it. This is where my secret entrance is. Now you're going to see what's inside, and I'm sure you're going to have a great time. I really hope you haven't lost your mind. Now come on in and see what I've got. Now do you see what I'm talking about? Wow, JJ, I didn't expect to see that under a cemetery. I told you this place was unbelievably awesome. It's got everything we need to have fun. There's even a TV with a sofa and many more different rooms. And the main thing is that there is a very comfortable and large bed here. There are a lot of advantages here. There is even a private bathroom and a hot tub. Isn't it really cool here? I'm shocked that you were able to make a house under the cemetery and it turned out so cool. Come to my place. There's enough room in this shower stall even for two. I really like it here. Oh my God, is that Mikey peeping? What? I didn't see anyone, JJ. Wait here and I'll charge him for coming in without permission. Hey, Mikey, come here quickly. Um, was it my imagination? But I clearly saw that he was here. Maybe he just hid somewhere or something? There's nowhere to hide. Let's forget about it and I invite invite you to my hot tub. Just imagine how cool it is to relax and unwind here. I've always dreamed of having my own jacuzzi in the house. It's wonderful. And even here we can spend time together and just relax looking at each other. I am glad that you have made such a house for yourself in which we both feel good. Although I'm ready to live with you anyway. Oh my God. I definitely saw Mikey right now. I'm sure he's here. Where is he always running off to? It couldn't have seemed like a second time to me. Stop joking around, JJ. It's not funny the second time. I'm not kidding. I really see him. I guess I'm just winding myself up and I need to relax a little. Let's just go to bed together and have a normal time as we love it. Of course I want this, JJ. I already want to be anywhere, but most importantly with you. Then lie down, beauty, and we'll spend time together. And I'm glad you want it too. Oh my God, he's standing here again. I definitely don't think so. I see that he's here and he's trying to escape. Wait, Mikey, don't run away. Darling, follow me faster. I know I'm not going crazy and I was sure I was right. JJ, I'm starting to worry about you. Just follow me. Here he is standing here. Um, uh, what, what are you talking about? Yes, I did it on purpose because you didn't take me. I told you that I'm not going crazy. I'm glad you thought so. You can't do that, Mikey. That's it. We want privacy and you're in the way. And I wanted to have fun with you. How did you get out, you terrible people? Now I'm going to punish you again then. Oh my God, this grandfather has gone crazy again. Please do something about it. Don't worry, I'll stop my grandfather. I won't let you steal other people's houses anymore. You're just crazy crazy and I won't let you touch us. Oh my God, my back is hurt, go away. Yes, I'm just glad of it. Thank God I was able to stop him. Thank you guys very much because I was really scared. Let's play together now.